Good morning and welcome to the 2018 BMW 540i. This is BMW's latest and greatest midsize sedan. I say midsize considering there is a bigger 7 series and there's also a smaller 3 and 4 series car. The BMW 540i is your perfect everyday sedan. Ample amount of space in the trunk, in the back for passengers. Interior quality is outstanding. These option diamond stitched massaging seats are a must have. When you feel stiff and uncomfortable, you have those on, you do not feel that whatsoever. We know that it's nice, we know that it's comfortable, but how connected am I with the 540i? Not so much. It's a bit indirect, the steering, it's very floaty. The car isn't floaty, the steering just makes it feel not so BMW. The BMW that I used to know, that we used to own. My dad owned a, a 535i, I believe it was a 2013. That car drove better than this car in terms of connection. A car does not have to be a sports car to feel connected and sharp. The Panamera, for example, that car is the best of both worlds. It's extremely luxury, but it also gives you a sense of connection when on the road. When you go through a turn, you feel like you're in control. With this, not so much. If this car gave me a better sense of connection, I'd say it's near perfect. It has the speakers that I love, great sound quality from Harman Kardon. It's a BMW, I love how it feels, the quality, the buttons, everything, but it lacks that connection. And for a real driver, a petrol head, that's important to me, and it lacks that. Now, what it does not lack whatsoever is great technology. This new iDrive system, this updated iDrive system, is phenomenal, easy to use, little to no lag in the screen, especially this new instrument cluster. Loving this cluster, it changes from different modes. We have three modes in this car. We have Comfort, Eco Pro, and Sport. When you put it into these different modes, it changes the faces of the instrument cluster, which I love for sure. So let's go into Eco Pro first and kind of go backwards of what I said. This is going to soften everything, which is good for your everyday driver, which this car is made for. Many people that are going to be buying this car won't think that the steering is as bad as I perceive it to be. Now, Eco Pro, what it does is it softens the suspension, loosens the steering a bit, and also changes these gauges to an electric blue. Almost reminds me of like a Tesla or some type of battery powered car. Actually, this car does have battery power to it. It has a battery that increases efficiency and increases gas mileage when letting off the throttle, when you're going down a hill or it feels the need to tell you that you can save some gas, it tells you to let off your foot, and it charges this little battery that's presented by the gauges in EcoPro. I'd like to go straight from EcoPro into Sport. Immediately stiffens the suspension, changes the color of these gauges, gives you that nice BMW orange. Definitely stiffens the steering, but not quite where I want it. In my Volkswagen Golf R, I feel like that steering is more direct in comfort than this steering in sport. Bit of a shame, but let's go to this little U-turn. We'll turn around and get on it, see how this power really comes out to be. Oh yeah. Look, this car is no slouch. It's powered from a three liter inline six twin scroll single turbo motor. The twin scroll is positioned in a way that decreases turbo lag. Definitely feels great, but let's go back into comfort, enough play. Trust me when I say that 335 horsepower and 333 pounds feet of torque suits the 540i perfectly. Remember, it's your everyday sedan. You still have a good amount of torque, a good amount of horsepower, but without sacrificing efficiency in miles per gallon. Being the daily driver that the 540 is, it has to have 
great technology. This new updated iDrive system is perfect for this car, suits this car very well. If I go into menu right here, we have media, radio, communication, navigation, as usual, my vehicle. If you want to, you can basically change this car in every way. There's an endless amount of adjustability, especially in the screens, in the ambient lighting. I wish I could show you guys the ambient lighting, but it's a bit bright outside, 12 o'clock to be exact. But as far as adjustability goes, you do not have to worry about that at all. As an overall experience, this car is a great car. Don't get me wrong, it has its faults, just like any car that's produced nowadays. But things are getting better and BMW is improving. I'd like to see their steering become a little bit more direct. I know they're not going to go back to the hydraulic steering rack, but hopefully, hopefully the engineers can get the electric steering rack dialed in to where people like me that love to feel that sense of connection like these cars. And I love this car so much more, even it being luxury, if it was more direct. It is a good drive, but you know, it just, it just lacks that, that feeling that, that I desire within a car. Like all things, we see refinements, we see evolution. I'm confident, I know that BMW will resolve this issue. Drop a comment down below and let me know which BMW you would have in terms of luxury. The 3 Series, the 4 Series, maybe even the 540 or the Big Brother 7 Series. I also wanted to say thank you all so much for the support. Keep critiquing me, keep telling me what I'm doing right. It helps me so much to grow as a YouTuber and as a person in general. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.